Hello, Nistas. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista, and over here we do mainly things fragrance, whether it's body or home. And today we are going to do some fragrance talk. So if you're interested in hearing about this fragrance inspired company by the name of Juliana's Perfume, please stay tuned. All right, today, you guys, we will be featuring a company by the name of Juliana's Perfume. Juliana's Perfume is an inspired luxury fragrance company that create fragrances that are inspired by higher end niche brand and or designer fragrances for a fraction of the price. So you guys, they have a special going on that I think is an outstanding deal. You can get my five selection, my five bundle selection by clicking the link below, or you can go to the site and build your own bundle of five selection at 40% off. Now, when you go on the website, you can see that they have their fragrances and they have their fragrance names. But if you click or hover over the image, it will tell you the fragrance that it is inspired by. So let's just get right into what's most important is the juice inside of the bottle. So this is how the fragrance comes. It comes in this very simplistic, chic little packaging that is relatively sturdy. I do like it because you can keep these little boxes if you want to for travel if you're a person that does a lot of traveling and it's a nice fragrance nice size it can go in even my smallest handbag and the itemizer I have no complaints about it so one of the fragrances that I selected is Aurora's Extrait. Aurora's Extrait is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait Virgin. Now, the Extrait Virgin is just a little different than the original Virgin. I do have the full-size bottle of the original Virgin. Actually, I'm working on bottle number two, needing bottle number three. <laughs> and I have had other body care products from that line. However, I do not own the X Straight version, but I do own and have had many, I mean, many samples of it. I have had many samples of it, so I am very familiar with it. This fragrance has fragrance notes of bitter almond, saffron, Egyptian jasmine, cedar, and rigorous woody notes, and musk. Now, I wouldn't be myself if I'm not completely honest. Now, when they say inspired, they don't mean a carbon cloned copy. Sometimes you can get that, but in this case, not so much. As far as the fragrance, it does smell a lot like it. That almond note that is really present in the extract version, you get that note in here. So with that in mind, I do agree that Aurora's Extrait Virgin is very similar to the original version of Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. So if you want to save and if you're interested in saving money or you just wanted to experience the fragrance, I do think that this is a great way to experience some of these fragrances before you go out and purchase that three or $400 bottle of fragrance or inspired fragrances are so close to the original ones, I do think that this is a great way to get a larger sample than just a little mini file size, to get a larger sample so you can actually wear it multiple times before you decide to make that big purchase. So we're gonna move on into the next fragrance that I selected. The next one is called Aurora's Rose. Now, you guys, you have seen me feature these fragrances on my channel many a times, and you've also saw me feature these as a date night combination. All right, so not only are we in an era of dupes and inspired fragrance, but we are in an era of layering fragrances, multiple fragrances, not just two. But this is one of my favorite layering combinations. You have seen this on my channel several times. And like I said, it's time for bottle number three of Baccarat Rouge. But this is the Extrait version of Delina. And this is the original version of the Baccarat Rouge. This is one of my favorite date night layering combinations. And Juliana Fragrances 
they also know that this must be a hit layering combination in the community because they actually have one by the name of Aurora's Rose. When I tell you this right here, I'm going to be completely honest and I'm not just saying this because I'm being honest. This one actually is blended better than what I blend myself. This yields the perfect amount of each one of the fragrances that they are well balanced. And I told you guys when I do my fragrance layering, sometimes one fragrance kind of overshadows the other fragrance. But this one, it's the perfect layering. This is absolutely beautiful. So again, this is Aurora's Rose and it is inspired by a layer of Delina by Parfums de Marley and Baccarat Rouge by Mason Francis Kirshen. The next fragrance that is a part of my bundle is Fiery Goddess and this is inspired by God of Fire by um, Stefan Humper. And this is a mango forward type of fragrance and it is absolutely beautiful, you guys. This fragrance has fragrance notes of mango, lemon, ginger, red berries, woody notes, jasmine, musk, and argyle wood. This is absolutely beautiful. The sweetness is right on. The fruitiness is right where it needs to be, and it is absolutely beautiful. Now, out of all of the fragrances, this one and the Aurora Rose, as far as the projection and the longevity, these two, they're definitely top tier. This fragrance right here, it lasts up to six to eight hours. And it does smell very, very similar to the fragrance God of Fire. So again, this is Fiery Goddess. All right, now this next fragrance that I picked is because I really want to just give this fragrance another try. This fragrance is a fragrance that I purchased during the panorama, everybody in the house and we just trying to feel boards and all this stuff. So I don't know if I just purchased it at the wrong time, but I ended up sending the fragrance back because I did not like it. However, I have really enjoyed the fragrances that has come out as sequels behind this fragrance. And the fragrance that I'm speaking of is the original Delina by Parfums de Marley. Now, I own the Extrait and the La Rose, but it was just something about the original one that just did not mesh well with me. And this is Inner Beauty. And it is inspired by the original Delina by Parfums de Marley. This fragrance has notes of rhubarb, bergamot, lychee, nutmeg, vanilla, Damascan rose, suede, peony, cedar, frankincense, and vetiver. And you guys, this is, so, well, we already know. Delina is such a pretty girl type of fragrance. It is airy. This one is not as pungent as I recall the original one being, but it is really nice. I am really, really enjoying it. Yeah, so this one is right for me because everything that I recall not enjoying about the original one, I don't get that in this inspired one, Inner Beauty. So again, this is Inner Beauty inspired by the original Delina from Parfums de Marley. The next fragrance is Shades of Silence. Now this fragrance is inspired by the popular 100 Silent Ways by Nishane. I know 100 Silent Ways has to be like in Nishane's top three. Now, I have various bottles of Nishane's fragrances, but I do not have 100 Silent Ways, but it is definitely on the wish list. So um, I have had it in sample form, but now I have Shades of Silent. Okay, so let's talk about the fragrance notes and shades of silence. It has tuberose, peach, mandarin, orange, gardenia, jasmine, orris, vanilla, vetiver, and sandalwood. And you can go to Juliana's Perfume website and they will list all of the fragrance, um, fragrance notes as well. So I do like that about their website and it is very easy to navigate. All right, so when I, this is empty, by the way. So I've made it through this. But when I initially sprayed this, 
And I just recently got a new Nishane fragrance in my collection about a month ago. But when I originally sprayed this, I definitely could tell it was very similar to the DNA of Nishane's fragrances. This fragrance is, I see why it's in the top three. This is absolutely beautiful. Really enjoy it. You definitely get that peach, fruity peachy note in it. I don't get a whole lot of tuberose, but I definitely get that peachy note that's mixed in with that gardenia. And you know, I'm not a lover of gardenia. It has to be done right for me to enjoy it. And I really enjoy the gardenia that is in here. And the dry down on this, Oh boy, I don't even have words for it. It was absolutely... So Nisa, if you're interested in smelling like luxury but not breaking the bank, I would definitely recommend Juliana's Perfume to experience some of these pricey niche brand fragrances and designer for just a fraction of the price. Please note that my five bundle is linked below. You will save 40% off of the bundle for 30 days. And also be mindful that shipping is free and you can return items up to 90 days no matter what the purchase is. So again, I want to give a shout out to the people over at Juliana's Perfume. Thank you so much. Thank you to your contributions to the fragrance community. Greatly appreciate you. See you guys in the next video. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.